not that much. I love you guys. I do. I do, I do, I do. Hey guys, Danae here from Barely Bold. Um, if you have not already, please do subscribe to my channel. Today's video is actually going to be about um, how to get over a breakup. So I'm about to get real personal with you guys for a little bit and just discuss with you how I got over my breakup with a guy that I was with for five years. That's a long time, right? I know. I feel like this is something that a lot of girls don't know how to do and nobody ever talks about. So, and I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm completely open about the things I've been through, so I'm not like afraid or not okay with talking about things like this. I think it's something that more women should talk about with each other so that we can help each other. So, the first thing I did when I was going through my breakup was I deleted my social media. Not because the person I was with had a social media account that I was following or anything like that. It's more than just like unfollowing that person from social media. And this is why. When you go through a breakup, and when you're single too, and you're not really ready for a relationship, but you're out there trying to, to get into one, like social media is all about relationship goals. Relationship goals. Relationship goals. Like couple goals and like Beyonce and Jay-Z and all this stupid stuff that is not even real life. It makes you feel envious of people that may be in relationships and 90% 90, 90 of the relationships that I know of, people that I follow on Instagram or on social media, they're not as happy as they portray to be on social media. I know because I've seen their arguments, I've seen them, you know, I've seen the issues and the I might break up with them stuff that goes on behind closed doors so I know not to be like envious of people that are in relationships but when you're going through a breakup and it's fresh, you're going to be like, oh, I miss them so That could be us. Like, we could be at the zoo looking at Christmas lights. Or, like, that could be us. Like, he could be eating a burger and I could be taking a picture. Couple goals. <laughs> no, like, that's not what happened in the relationship. That person probably was a butthole to you and it's not worth it. Like, let it go. Just delete social media so you don't have to deal with seeing those things. I'm not saying delete your account. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying go onto your phone. Go onto your phone. Delete the apps off of your phone so that you're not constantly going on and either checking their their social media account or looking at couple goals and relationship goals or all the disgusting stuff that's on social media or you're not like stalking their life and seeing what they're doing and what their new girlfriend's doing and blah 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 da da da. It's a waste of time. It's going to hurt you. What you should be doing is deleting your social media accounts. For one, two, cry. It's okay to cry. It is okay to be hurt. Now, don't go on social media talking about like I just miss this person so much. Like, no one's gonna love me anymore. Like, don't go fishing for I don't even know. Just don't go fishing for sympathy in the situation. You gotta go through it on your own or with your close friends behind closed doors. My rule is even if you're crying, like let your family know and let, let people that you love and that you know love you know that you're hurting. Uh, but don't go to like social media and give anybody the satisfaction of seeing you hurt. I don't think that's okay. It's something I would never do. But the people that love you and that are actually around you, you should definitely let them know that you're going through something and um, this was a tough time for you and you're trying to get through it so that they can be there for you and make sure that you're not thinking about like going back on the decision that you made or trying to get that person back because you don't want to do that either. The next thing I would suggest you do if you're getting over a breakup, find a hobby. I think it's really good to find a hobby. For me, I started working out a lot, just going to the gym, focusing on getting, like my focus was getting um, really defined abs. Like I just wanted like four, a four pack. I didn't want a six pack because I didn't want to dedicate the the eating healthy part, but the four pack and I did get it for spring break. It was pretty great. Distance yourself from family. Like if they have family that you're really close to, just kind of distance yourself because it can be like so hard to get over somebody when you're constantly around someone that reminds you of them. So just completely distance yourself until you're ready to be around them. And I, I kind of think you should just kind of let it go in general. Like, it's okay to be distant, like friends with, with their family. But you don't want to be too close to them because you don't want to be reminded of them all, all the time. Have closure, too. If you if you went through a breakup, if you can't have closure immediately, make sure you get some sort of closure. So that it's not like you always want to having questions and things like that. Get closure in a public place. Don't go nowhere private somewhere public where you can just sit and talk if that person's willing to if they're not willing to then you have to what I would do is I would just write down whatever I would want to say and just like read it out loud or something to help you like get feel better I don't know what don't don't do this 
I get so I get really don't get into another relationship. Don't break up with somebody or end up or like get out of a relationship and be in another one like t two weeks later. Give yourself time to to grieve that relationship to really get over that person. Don't just try to get a rebound to patch up what's hurt so that's easily torn open. Just get it like heal your if your heart's broken, like heal it. Like make sure it's healed before you let somebody else in, you know, and there's a crack still there. Like make sure you're completely healed before you hop into another relationship. If you get over if you're truly over that person, you know, very quickly, then sure, you can get in another relationship if you feel like you're ready for it. I I would say that you're ready when you're able to I don't even know, I don't know when you're ready. You, you, you'll know when you're ready to get into another relationship. Don't hate the person that broke up with you or that you broke up with. with whatever you learned from the relationship, this is something that is huge and this shows maturity. Whatever you learn, whatever relationship you get into and friendship you get into, you're gonna learn something from each person that you meet every day. So just take what you learn and grow from that. Like don't be too focused on what they did to hurt you or the negative stuff. Just, just like learn from whatever it was that that person taught you, whether it be like, traits to not to look for in a guy that are great traits to look for in a girl that are terrible whatever it is you like learn from it don't hate them for anything don't text back for if they text you like hey can i talk to you and you already had closure and you're done don't respond just don't don't waste your time when you have been in a relationship with somebody don't keep trying to go back and work it out if it didn't work the first time it's not going to work the second time i believe that i'm sure there are people that disagree with me I'm, i won't say the second time sometimes people do make mistakes Okay, if it didn't work first time, didn't work the second time, it's not going to work the third time. It's not. It's better to be patient and wait for someone that is right for you than be impatient and get someone that's just meh, meh. Meh. And when you really love somebody, you should want them to also have a relationship that is with someone that they really love and care about and want to do for and want to be serving of and things like that. When you, like, you have to get to that point where you're like, I want I want you to be happy and I want to be happy. I don't want this stress. I don't want to worry about X, Y, and Z, blah, blah, da, da, da. That's my how to get over a breakup video, um, I think. I don't know. There's so much more to talk about, but I don't want this video to be too long. So, but yeah, I'm really happy you guys are watching. <laughs> um, yeah. If you have any questions, though, for real, don't feel free, feel free to, like, comment below. And if you like this video, make sure you let me know that you liked it. I love you guys. I do. I do, I do, I do. Ooh.